Good morning, Chargers. This is Speak of West Today, Tuesday, April 11th, 2017. I'm Carlos Chavez. Tuesday is terrific in the cafeteria. Today's menu includes taco salad, rice, beans, and cheese wrap, and chili dog. State testing continues for many of our students. We know you will do well, but always remember to eat right and get plenty of sleep during these important testing days. Did you know that smoke alarm failure plays a large role in three and five house fire deaths? In an effort to lower this number, students of Mrs. York's Leadership Studies class and the Topeka Fire Department have put together an awareness night at Homer Sports Park today, 3.30 to 6 p.m. It will be held in the east parking lot of the football stadium. Take part in activities to learn more about how to prevent faulty smoke alarms, home destruction, and unnecessary death. We will also have the opportunity to practice a safe escape from a burning house should a fire actually occur. For additional information, talk to Ashley Strickler, Colin Warner, and Caitlin Young. In news for your counselor, the University of Kansas will visit our campus today during seminar. They will be in the MIC room. On Thursday, Kansas Wesleyan will visit our campus. They will also be in the MIC room. It will be a busy week for our JROTC students on Wednesday. They will participate in the annual accreditation inspection by higher headquarters in the Army chain of command. Good luck to them. West Sider dance team tryouts are just around the corner. They will be held on April 17th and 18th from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. in the main gym. Be a part of one of the best dance teams in the area. For more information, contact Ms. Switz by email or stop by and see her in E607. The Kansas Department of Transportation's Mentoring a Girl in Construction Camp is designed to offer high school age girls the opportunity to learn about the countless avenues of employment that are available to women in the construction and transportation industry. Any females interested in the opportunity should see Miss Nichols in the office. Remember that prom is later this month on April 29th. Prom tickets are now on sale in Miss Sparks' office in A Building. They are available before and after school. Tickets are $20 for each person. And speaking of prom, all juniors are welcome to help out the upcoming workday scheduled all this month. Workdays for prom will be held in Miss Murray's room A101 every Thursday after school until prom. Scheduled workdays are April 13th, 20th, and 27th. Come on, juniors, let's get together and help to make this the best prom ever. With prom still in mind, do you have a formal or a prom dress that isn't being used? Consider donating it. Silver Sparkle is a community-based organization that wants to make sure the lack of funding doesn't keep anyone from going to their high school prom. They're looking to expand their inventory of dresses. Got one, two, or three you want to donate? Drop them off at the Silver Sparkle store in Brookwood Shopping Center located at 29th and Oakley. This news in this morning, the winner of last week's financial challenge on the West Side Bank was Damon Edwards. He guessed the closest to the actual amount in the jar. The jar held $14.56. Winner of the second chance drawing is Hunter Leiden. Please stop by West Side Bank to claim your prizes. In more bank news, West Side Bank will be selling post-prom tickets. They're $6 each and available during regular bank hours. This week's contest to celebrate Financial Literacy Month for West Side Bank is a compound interest challenge. There are two problems to solve. One's easier for one entry and the other's more difficult for two entries. Find out more by heading over to the West Side Bank during normal banking hours. Prizes for this week are punch cards for drinks at Java West. Five drinks first prize and two drinks for second prize. Also, in news from Ms. Nichols, Kelsey Bowers will sign her letter of intent to play basketball at Coffeeville on Thursday after school in the library. There's much to sing about from regional small ensemble and solo competition this past weekend. The singers men, singer women, and singer mixed group each received one ratings at regionals. Congratulations to them. Congratulations also to solo performers Skylar Lindquist and Laura Wilder. Each received one ratings in their solo work. Great job singers and of course great job Mr. East. Congratulations also to Rosalind Taylor. She received a one superior rating at Saturday's regional music festival at her cello solo. She will be representing West at the State Festival on May 29th. Looking ahead to activities this week, weather permitting of course, today KU visits during seminar, Charger Baseball is at Hayden game, this time is 4 p.m. Lady Charger Swimming travels to Blue Valley, Lady Charger Softball hosts Hayden at Hummer Sports Park, game time is 4 p.m. 
and Lady Charger Soccer host Pika High School at Hummers Sports Park. Game time is 6 p.m. tonight. On Wednesday, the JROTC Brigade Staff Assistant visits. Athletic team pictures will be taken during seminar, and Lady Charger Swimming and Diving will be at Manhattan. Be sure and check the Topeka West website and Facebook page for past, present, and future Charger news. That's it for me. Have a great day, Chargers.